What would you think of when I tell you that there was a car that was faster than the fastest train and also much faster than an aircraft? What would you imagine to look like and what engine to have? The beginning of the previous century was wild. Companies were competing to build their own fastest machine to break a record and often it was only a question of a large engine. Back in the 1900s, there was a new land speed record every year and then there was a steam-powered car in 1906 which managed to cross the 200 km per figure. The record stood for three years, when an established company understood marketing long before it was a common thing. Benz and company was renowned for luxury automobiles, but the racing also attributed to the overall success of the firm. As crazy as it sounds, Carl Benz himself was against racing as he saw no added value to the production of automobiles. Fortunately for the company, a board member, Julius Gans, had a different opinion and understood that racing success equals publicity. The Benz company attended racing events with Victor Emery behind the wheel of a Benz 150 horsepower. The car was built to meet the regulations of the 1906 French Grand Prix which consisted of nearly 770 km on public roads. Although a Mercedes race car arrived the first, which was a competing company back then, all three Benz cars managed to finish the race reliably. The Benz automobile was a bit more powerful and had a very large engine. The rules allowed for a maximum bore diameter of 155mm, so 154.9 by 200mm cylinders were used inside a straight 4 cylinder unit. This equals a displacement of 15.1 liters, enough to deliver up to 158 horsepower at 1500 rpm at the time. This kind of layout was very often designed as two twin cylinders running on three main white metal bearings. There is a two valve overhead valve assembly from the side and the other side houses the intake and exhaust. With a compression ratio of 4.8 to 1, it produced a hefty amount of 750 Nm of torque. The top speed was 163 km per hour, but this was not enough for a big newspaper headline. Alternatively, they could have used a longer gearing, but for a land speed record, using a combustion engine, they added more displacement to the engine. The result was a 4-cylinder of 21.5 liters, thanks to a 185mm enlarged bore. However, the displacement was not the only change compared to the 150 horsepower engine. The three-bearing block was swapped for a five-main setup. The engine also needed a twin spark plug system to ignite and burn the mixture fast enough in such large bores, and there was also a higher compression ratio of 5.8 to 1. The power output climbed to the 200 horsepower figure, delivered at just 1600 rpm with a slightly higher rpm limit of 1650 by 30 revs. Initially, the power plant was placed in the Benz 150 horsepower chassis which was about 1200 kg with the small engine. The first attempt took part in Europe on 8th of November 1909 with the Victor Emery who broke through the 200 km per mark, the first ever in an internal combustion engine car. The run was held on the famous high-speed circuit of Brooklands, where he managed to reach 202.6 km per over a kilometer and even 205.7 for half a mile. However, it was not enough for proper recognition and the car traveled over the Atlantic to Daytona in 1911. Previously there was a 205 km per record by a steam-powered Stanley car and unofficially Italians managed to catch the record for themselves too with the 28.4 liter Beast of Turin. What followed next though was an unrivaled domination of the land speed record. The Lightning Benz, as Americans called it, or Blitzenbenz in German, 
which sounded even more furious, was driven by a Michigan-born guy named Bob Berman, and on 23rd of April 1911, on Berman's 27th birthday, the car managed to gather a speed of 228.1 km per hour. Traveling at a speed of 220 km per hour or nearly 150 miles per hour is nothing super extraordinary and most cars today can reach that quickly. But this is 1911. They needed a 21.5 litre engine to cross a speed record for any kind. It was faster than a train which held a rail speed record of 210 km per hour from 1903 and twice as fast as the quickest aircraft in 1911. The speed of the Blitz and Benz was simply unmatchable and the record stood for 8 years. The car weighed about 1400 kilograms, 400 of which was the engine itself. Up to 6 Mercedes 200 horsepower were made, some different from others as there was even a more aerodynamic model with a long pointy tail and 3 of the cars remain intact today and others were disassembled for parts back in the past. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you on the next one and please consider supporting this channel through Patreon and membership on YouTube. Thank you very much and cheers!